I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, your one-stop shop for living on a Bitcoin standard. Sign up and grab gift cards for eSIMs, gaming, e-commerce, your travel needs, food, and much more, and you can buy them all with Bitcoin and Lightning. Sign up today and use code BTC Sessions 10 for some special perks. Two days ago, we had our first uh advisory board meeting at TerraHash, which is a newly found think tank in Germany, where we have as one of the biggest focus is the energy topic in Bitcoin, because Bitcoin does not have an energy problem. Uh, we generate like 170,000 terawatt hours of energy. And as you mentioned, like a third of that is wasted anyways. Like there's so much stranded energy and it's only ever going to be more. And it's wrong to assume that we would ever like consume less energy. Like as society progresses, we need more energy, we need cheaper energy, and Bitcoin is such a driving force for that. Mining right now is done mostly in the United States, in Russia, Kazakhstan, China, and not really in Germany, uh, because like where I live here, I have like pay like over 40 cents a kilowatt hour. So yeah. <laughs> I think mining the hash price right now is like at six, seven cents. Uh, doesn't make that much sense for me to plug in like even an S9, like to, uh, to heat an apartment, it's very difficult. But um, the, the founder of TerraHash is a, a German businessman and he has like a large company who's the manufacturer like uh, injection molded plastic components. And he had the vision of using the stranded, the, the, the heat that is generated from these miners to uh, in his industrial processes. And he built like a megawatt uh, photovoltaic array on his, on his uh, roof and really put money where his mouth is and started an energy laboratory where he's actively researching with a team of scientists best ways to um, form this concept and then have sort of a black box that can be put into different other companies to have like utility companies in Germany to have like other industrial processes where we have renewable energy but sometimes on weekends we do not manufacture any products what do we do with this energy or we have we know how much energy we need and if we were to build our photovoltaic array um, to that dimension um, and then the sun doesn't shine we have too little renewable energy and we have to buy something but what if we build bigger and then account for that um, the peak load we can just grab off with like mining rigs all these things uh, much more complex than i just portray them i, I thought i knew how mining on the, would work but on, on thursday I, I toured the energy lab and talked to the guys there and there are so many uh, variables some you can't even control uh, some like uh, a lot of the, the research re right now is um, even figuring out precise data points because what the manufacturer of an ant miner or what's miner tells you is not necessarily what kind of power draw it, it does and there's like so many different things but with TerraHash and Jan is also a representative of that brand um, we're trying to build this out in Germany and go to like yeah utility companies and tell them hey give Bitcoin data centers a try because we very quickly mining this like they, they hang up <laughs> they don't want to hear that word <laughs> bitcoin or data centers are the way to go